Get out your red string and tinfoil hats. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 conspiracy-themed video games. The documents you've given me contain evidence of a conspiracy against your family. For more gaming videos, check out our new spin-off channel, Mojo Plays, for in-depth reviews, thoughtful video essays, detailed character origins, and insightful commentary. Mojo Plays, game smarter. For this list, we're looking at the games that best deliver on secret agendas, age-old plots against the state, and all manner of convoluted yet compelling schemes. As we'll be discussing narrative while identifying why these titles are so adept at weaving in conspiratorial yarns, please note that there will be some major spoilers ahead. The director, Senora from the Science Center, wants a collection of all the animals on the planet. Number 10, Mirror's Edge Catalyst. As I suspected, what do you hope to accomplish here? I'm giving people the right to decide things for themselves. Oh, Faith, hasn't it ever occurred to you that people might want reflection? While we admire developer EA Dice for their work on the original Mirror's Edge, its sequel, Catalyst, stands out just a bit more. For starters, the City of Glass, the game's setting, is clearly defined as a totalitarian realm where people are divided by caste and social media is a means of monitoring all. As parkour-reliant courier Faith Connors goes about her usual routine of dodging the police and making risky drops, she becomes aware that the government has plans to introduce nanomachine-based control into the mix. Of course, Faith being the disruptive sort means that players get their shot at fighting the system one open-world mission at a time. Lies in unlocking your inner potential through hard work and relentless dedication. As an employee, you are expected to perform at the top of your abilities. Number 9, L.A. Noir. We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon! You're making a big mistake, Arcaro. Nothing like a hard-boiled detective going up against the criminal underworld of the 1940s, eh? L.A. Noir initially seems as though it'll play out like just another crime procedural, albeit one that's faithful to the time period and sporting the advanced motion scan performance capture technology. We, the player, guide Detective Cole Phelps through many a grim case of murder and mayhem, and then the plot begins to explore themes of police corruption and the complicated lives of veterans after the war. By the story's end, L.A. Noir has much to highlight about the ways in which authority figures use and abuse vulnerable people for personal gain, and it's as provocative as it is devastating. They're a little mystified about the motive. You have any ideas on that? Number 8, 13. I will continue the work that my brother William started. And yes, there will once again be a Sheridan in the White House! Based loosely on a long-running comic book of the same name, 13 is not shy about wearing its conspiracy thriller heritage on its sleeve. Right from the outset, the player is dropped into the shoes of an amnesiac man, who immediately has to contend with persistent assassins and hints of a less-than-admirable past. From there, it's a matter of running and gunning through a succession of themed levels, all while being drawn into a plot to kill the United States president and topple the government from within. This is the stuff that high-quality Pulp Fiction is made of, and thanks to its stylized, cel-shaded art style, it holds up beautifully. You always appreciated her discretion. Hey, she's invited too. Maybe she'll know something. Number 7, Beyond Good and Evil. Nice work, Jade! I'm gonna go make sure everything's working! Come down here as soon as you can! In Beyond Good and Evil, you play as photographer and orphanage caretaker Jade as she sets out to investigate rather strange disappearances. The game's framing of her efforts as a blend of stealth infiltration, melee combat encounters, and a photography mechanic are what made this game such a cult classic. But the story, which involves human trafficking and a plot to stop life-draining aliens, adds intrigue and atmosphere to an already stellar experience. It also doesn't hurt that Beyond Good and Evil cleverly uses the initial hook of a private investigation to mask a much more personal story. Double H, I saw the prisoners. It's horrible. There's hundreds of them. Number six, Max Payne. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. We might be hooked in by the slow-motion gunplay and the neo-noir affectation, but the darker mysteries at play are what keep us drawn to Max Payne. Developed by Remedy Entertainment, it tells the story of the titular New York detective who opts to dive into a deep cover operation after the loss of his wife and child. Before long, though, players are pulled into layer upon layer of competing schemes, drug distribution, secret military experiments, even a mysterious cabal, as Max tries to attain some semblance of justice. Unraveling the plot one shootout at a time doesn't cease to be entertaining, especially with Max's voice actor, James McCaffrey, infusing plenty of pathos and dry wit into the role. They were all dead. 
The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. Number five, Dishonored. Oh. 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 Mommy! Oh. Get away! Plague riddles the streets, the reigning empress is dead, and her bodyguard Corvo Atano is accused of treason. Thus begins the harrowing yet endearing dive into the steampunk shenanigans that is Dishonored, a spiritual successor to the likes of System Shock and Thief, a dark project. Much like those earlier titles, the player spends much of their time sneaking around and parsing out the details of the larger world. But here, it's a matter of pinpointing who betrayed Corvo and why. The amount of detail in the world's history and mythos, coupled with a marvelous watercolor painting aesthetic and truly dark and interesting characters, and this makes for a story that you have to experience for yourself. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny. Number four, Assassin's Creed II. You knew this would happen? Not the way it did, and not this soon. Doesn't matter now. What do you mean? Building on the framework of the original Assassin's Creed, this sequel picks up nearly 300 years later in the midst of the Italian Renaissance. Players guide Ezio Auditore in his years-long quest to avenge the murder of his brothers and father, only for fate and certain political machinations to offer another path. Assassin's Creed II makes use of both its central revenge plot and the exploration of its open world to lure the audience into a deeper tale of age-old feuds and violence begetting violence. For those also keen on historically inspired drama and science fiction twists, the game delivers on that count too. I have so many questions! What the fuck? Number three, Perfect Dark. Once upon a time, very few grasped the sleek beauty of a well-paced action game quite like Rare. Their spiritual follow-up to 1997's GoldenEye 007 opted for a change in many aspects. A woman as the globetrotting spy protagonist, an original mythology and backstory, and a truly unexpected conspiracy plot. Initially, Perfect Dark aims to deliver what appears to be a quite familiar spy thriller tale, albeit with Rare's love of unorthodox weapon design and the slick confidence of its heroine Joanna Dark. However, the game proves itself to be more than meets the eye once dueling alien armies and a scheme to replace world leaders with clones comes into play. No problem, grab my arms. We'll get you out in no time. No, quick, give me your gun. Number two, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. When Hideo Kojima wants to make a point, he'll make damn sure that if it's a woman hammering the point home, she'll have her breasts exposed. Um, that's not, that's not what I wanted to talk about. Anyway, um, what I wanted to say is he, he makes damn sure to hammer that point home in a blunt, methodical fashion. That is key to understanding why Sons of Liberty initially presents itself as another tense action thriller focused on the exploits of Solid Snake, but that's before it pulls the rug out from beneath your feet. In reality, Kojima and his team used this pretense to set up some of gaming's most eccentric yet intricately plotted political machinations, ranging from information control to the subtle rigging of presidential elections. That, plus greater emphasis on precision shooting and a bold decision to switch the player character, made for a game that still feels relevant today. You want eternal rest? I've got it right here. Number one, Deus Ex series. This play, the rioting is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over into the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. Nothing else feels quite as right here than the series best known for weaving conspiracy thriller fare into its intricately designed worlds. Deus Ex emerged right at the dawn of the new millennium to both embody the spirit of the immersive sim genre and deliver tense, action-packed tales about shadowy corporations lording over humanity. Its legacy would be carried forth in the 2003 sequel Invisible War, somewhat poorly, before the series went on a long hiatus and developer Ion Storm closed shop in 2005. However, thanks to the efforts of inheriting studio Eidos Montreal, the original game's themes of societal breakdown and corporate powers dominating all lived through in 2011's Human Revolution and its direct sequel, Mankind Divided. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.